We're making a fairy staff. Here's what we need. Thick wire. I actually use automotive cable. Two half inch wooden dowels from the craft store. 18 or 20 gauge wire. A small battery run LED light. Wire cutters. Mod Podge. A small container to water the Mod Podge down in. Flat, decent sized paint brushes. Tissue paper, I chose a light green, dark green, and a blue. A hot glue gun. Some duct tape, black is optional. And a pot, but only briefly. First thing, take your wire and wrap it around the pot so that you have a total of six coils. So it's gonna result in five rings. Slide them off the pot and then spread them out into their ring form, giving them a little bit of space between each of them to be our center. Then go ahead and take your thin wire and start wrapping it around at the bottom of each ring so that they stay in place. Feel free to adjust them a little bit, try and get them vaguely even, but we are going for a flower natural look, so it's okay if they're a little off. Once you have each of them secured, go ahead and spin them around so that they make a circle. Adjust further to, again, make it even, but make sure you keep that space in the center a decent size because we are going to be putting a loop in there. Then, carefully take your wire and secure anywhere else that seems flimsy, especially anywhere having to do with those ends. You do not want those getting in the way later. Trim off any excess and then shape the petals to your liking. I decided to give them a point and then make them kind of fat, sort of like a lotus flower, but in reality, it's your choice. Okay, you also need a bowl, but again, it's brief. Take your flower, shape it over the bowl while keeping the bowl on something tall like a glass. I chose my Mod Podge container and then take your silver wire and carefully wrap it around each of the points where the petals meet. Think about trying to form a bud or an opening flower shape. Once your petals are nice and secure, go ahead and take some glue. I use my tacky glue, but you can also use Mod Podge or Elmer's. And then take your flower colored tissue paper and lay it over to form a nice membrane. Don't worry about how messy the edges are. We're definitely gonna fix them later. Right now, the goal is to just get a nice foundation on each of the petals that's smooth. Once your foundation petals have all dried, so the glue is dry and not going anywhere, take some scissors and start trimming off any excess or overhang you might have. It'll just make it easier later. From there, you're going to take some watered down Mod Podge and with a large paintbrush, paint it down the whole flower. Make sure you get those edges nice and smoothly down and once everything is wet, we are gonna add some more tissue paper on top to make it stronger. Trust me, you wanna get this wet and then add tissue paper and not dip tissue paper into the watered down Mod Podge. It's just not good. Once your flower has at least two to three layers of tissue paper on it, go ahead and take your dowels and decide how tall you want your flower staff to be. Make sure you have at least six inches of overlap, although for the dowels for you to duct tape together for stability reasons. Cut two lengths of three foot of your thick wire and then twist it around the top of the staff having at least two foot of overhang. Then take duct tape and duct tape over the whole thing to make sure they're really holding still. Then go ahead and take your wire and twist them together all the way to the end. This will add a whole lot more stability and again, make sure things aren't moving around later. Once you get them all the way twisted, do make sure you get all the way to the ends. Go ahead and form a hook. Think Shepherdess or Dr. Seuss, whatever fills you with spirally thoughts. Then grab your sheets of tissue paper and one at a time, grab the two corners, fold it in half, and then carefully twist it together into a weird kind of sausage shape. Make sure you get them fairly nice and twisted so they're not gonna come unraveled. Warm up your glue gun and taking the twisted tissue paper, carefully glue it in a spiraling motion all around your staff. That's up to you if you want full coverage, but I did full coverage, but you can also totally let the stuff peek through. I mean, especially if you have a wood dowel you're, that you're working with, it could be kind of a cool effect, but just keep going until you like the way it looks. This is what full coverage looks like. As you can see, I went for that, so I just kind of kept gluing and kept spiraling until the entirety of the staff was green. Once you like your staff, it's time to return to your flower. Trim up those ends one more time just to get them a little bit more manageable. Then go ahead and take out your watered down Mod Podge and start Mod Podging down any overhang onto the inside and covering up most of those white cables. You don't have to go all the way to the top, but you definitely want anything on the lower half covered. 
It should look something like this when done. Once everything's dry, go ahead and flip it over and take a knife or some scissors and cut a slit in the middle of that star. Then take about six inches of wire, form a loop with some nice long ends and stick the loop through the slit. Then go ahead and take your glue gun and glue gun those ends onto the wire on the inside so that it does not move. Now take out a sheet of green, fold it in half and then in half and then in half and then in half. Then carefully check the length of your not snowflake and cut a triangle which will form a nice bud top then cut a rectangle out of the center and put it over your loop take your watered down mod podge out again and go ahead and mod podge this cap onto your flower it's okay if it pleats in some places but try and keep it fairly smooth once the cap is thoroughly wet go ahead and take some bits of green tissue paper and Mod Podge green tissue paper all over the white of that wire. You do not want any showing through. I suggest doing it in a spiraling motion and make sure you put some over the inside, both to secure it better to the flower and to hide the wire. Once everything's dry, go ahead and take your LED light and stick it on the inside. Mine actually came with sticky bits on it, but you can also use hot glue or E6000 or whatever you have around. Last step, take your green staff and then go ahead and hang your flower on it. So although this thing does look good just hanging out on your wall, it really shines at night when you turn the light on. Which happens to be when I have the most fun playing with it, which also happens to be where I can take the least good photos of it. Fun combo.